Kenya, the land of sprawling savannas, breathtaking wildlife, and steaming cups of strong coffee might surprise you with its flourishing grape industry. Yes, grapes. Those plump, juicy orbs of sweetness that not only grace our tables but also fuel the booming wine market. While the image of Kenyan vineyards may not be as ubiquitous as its coffee plantations, grape farming is quietly becoming a significant player in the country's agricultural landscape. The story of Kenyan grapes is one of untapped potential meeting a growing demand. Kenyans, along with the rest of the world, are developing a taste for fine wines. This surging interest, however, is dampened by the fact that according to Farmer's Trend, most grapes in the country are normally imported. This presents an opportunity for local farmers to thrive and close the gap between domestic production and consumption. The good news is that Kenya possesses the ideal conditions for grape cultivation. The Rift Valley, with its warm days, cool nights, and well-drained volcanic soils, provides a near-perfect environment for these sun-loving vines. Other regions like Eastern, Central, and Nyanza provinces are also proving to be suitable grape-growing areas. The number of registered grape farms has skyrocketed in recent years, with a growth rate exceeding 35% between 2015 and 2021. This translates from a mere 20 farms to over 120 in that short period. The Ministry of Agriculture reported an estimated export value of over 500 million kes in 2022, representing an increase of 45% compared to 2021. Despite this growth, a good percentage of the grape consumed in Kenya is imported and mostly sold to the high. End market that pays a good price for them a kilo goes at around 400500 ksh. But what's driving this surge? Several factors are at play. First, the rising domestic demand for high-quality grapes and wines is creating a fertile market for local producers. Second, the increasing focus on import substitution by the Kenyan government is incentivizing farmers to cultivate grapes, reducing reliance on foreign imports. Finally, the success stories of established grape farms are inspiring. New entrants demonstrating the viability of this agricultural venture. Of course, there are challenges. Grapes require specific climate conditions, and mastering viticulture, the science of grape cultivation, takes time and expertise. Additionally, managing pests and diseases requires ongoing vigilance. New grape farmers also need to navigate the intricacies of marketing and distribution to connect with wineries and retailers. The next time you raise a glass of Kenyan wine, remember, it's not just a toast to a delicious beverage, but a celebration of a burgeoning industry that's putting Kenyan agriculture on the map. Thank you for listening, Farmer's Trend.